The question is whether copper carbonate, CuCO3, is soluble or insoluble in water. And the short answer is that it's insoluble in water. If you put copper carbonate in water, it won't dissolve. There's a few ways that we can figure that out. We could have memorized the solubility rules first. So as we go down, and most carbonates are insoluble. So this CO3, that's our carbonate, carbonate ion, CO3 2 minus. So since we have the carbonate here, this should be insoluble in water. There are a few exceptions, group one on the periodic table and the ammonium ion, but copper is not here. We could also look at the solubility chart. So here's a solubility chart. The positive ions are on the left, the negative on top. Let's find copper. Here's copper two, Cu2 plus, and then here's the carbonate, CO3 two minus. Note that we know that the carbonate is going to have a 2 minus ionic charge, so the copper has to be 2 plus. That's why we call this copper 2 carbonate. So we go down, we go over, and we see that I there. That means that copper carbonate is going to be insoluble in water. When you put copper carbonate in water, it'll just sink to the bottom. It won't dissolve or dissociate into its ions. We should note that a very small amount will dissolve, but it's such a small amount that we consider the compound to be insoluble. There is one more way we could do this. We could just take some copper carbonate, put it in water, and see if it dissolved. Based on the chart here and based on the solubility rules, we would expect it to be insoluble. So in answer to the question whether copper 2 carbonate is soluble or insoluble in water, it is insoluble. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.